how are y'all doing today? As you can see, I only have my eyeshadow and my eyebrows and my foundation done, but I haven't done contouring because that's what I'm going to talk about on this video. So I have a really round face. <laughs> I have big cheeks and contouring is essential for me when I do my makeup. I have to do it. It makes me, I just feel like when I contour, I lose like 10 pounds off my face. And I do it in a really simple way. And I'm by no means an expert on contouring. As you guys know, I'm not an expert on makeup, but I love makeup. And I just do it a really quick, easy way that I feel like it works for my shape of my face anyway. So that's what I'm going to show you guys, how I contour my face to look 10 pounds thinner without Photoshop or Facetune. <laughs> All right, so the contour that I'll be using, and I don't even know if this is a contour or not, but I use it as a contour because I love it. I use the NARS Bronzing Powder, and this is in the color of Laguna. This is what it looks like. It's kind of beat up already, but yeah. And I know this is a bronzer, but I use it for contour, and I love it. I am in love with it. I'm in love with the color. I'm in love with the, with the way it looks on my complexion. And um, yeah, so let's get started. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this brush right here. Now, I don't know what type of brush that is. It's a slanted brush like this. So I got this one, I, could, I think I got it like at Ross or something. I don't know, I've had it forever. I actually need to probably buy a new one. <laughs> but this is what we're gonna use. We're gonna go ahead and take our brush and you just want to go ahead and put as much as you want on there depending on how dark you want your contour just going to press it a few times and let's do this and for my like i said for my shape of face because i have a round face what i'm going to do is i'm going to contour from like all this right here You see how right away you start seeing the difference? Like, you start seeing the difference in the, you know, how your face looks, the structure of your face. And I soften it up with the with my hand sometimes, like the areas that I'm like, oops, I've kind of messed up right there. I kind of just soften it up with my hands so that it can blend in and, it'll, and it won't look ridiculous. <laughs> okay, let's do the other side. It's kind of hard to do it on the on the camera, so I'm trying to look at myself in the mirror, but the camera's right in front of me, so it's kind of hard to do it. And what this does, it just creates like a shadow. That way, you know, your face can look a little bit more shaped, a little bit less round. And what I also like to do, because, you know, I'm of a certain age. <laughs> I'm already over 40, so, you know, gravity starts happening and your face starts dropping a little bit. So what I like to do is I like to put contour a little bit down here. That way it can give the effect that this is more lifted. So what I'm gonna do is, you just wanna get a little bit cause you don't wanna end up with like a beard or something. <laughs> And next, 
And the final step of this contour lesson <laughs> is that I'm gonna, um, I'm just gonna get this, the other side of the brush, which is also an angle side, but it's a smaller one. And I'm just gonna get a little bit so that I can go ahead and contour my nose. And let me show you how I like to do my nose so that it can look a little bit longer, a little bit more defined. And then on the sides, I also like to contour the sides. That way it'll be a little bit more skinnier nose. Okay, and now that I've contoured the nose, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that like this. And towards the middle. Okay, and it looks like we're all set. And now that I'm done with it, now I'm gonna go ahead and put some powder over it, just so that everything will look more, more put together. And I'm just gonna use my Stay 2 powder. And because you know, you guys know I love it, look, I'm almost done with it. I love, 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 love this powder. It just leaves your face literally like satin. I love it. And you guys see how how different it looks? Like from the when, when I started with my face, I feel like the difference is quite substantial. And it's pretty easy. It doesn't take that long. I took longer because, well, I was explaining everything while I was doing it. But really, it's really easy to do. And I guess we're just gonna finish up the look now. I'm gonna use my, my favorite eye. I got this blush from NARS also as a little gift. It's called Orgasm. <laughs> and um, I love it, it's my favorite now. So like, I'm gonna buy it. When I run out of this sample, I'm gonna buy it again, because I love it. We're gonna go ahead and uh, put a little bit on here. I love, love, love this color, the orgasm color. So it looks like we're all done with that. And I guess I'm gonna put a little bit of lipstick on. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this lipstick, which is a Kylie lip, uh, lip color, and it's Coco K. I love Kylie's lip kits. It's they're really nice. They're hard to come off, but they're really nice. And then to finish up the look, I'm just gonna use the Selena Mac La Leyenda, the one that's like a little flower, and I'm just gonna use it as a a little sparkle right here under the eye. Ah, hello, and a little bit here on the tip of my nose. And add a little bit right here. All right, guys. Well, that's the complete look. And that's my contour routine that I have to do every time I do my makeup. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little video I made for y'all. As always, I'm going to put the products that I use in the description with the links if you want to buy them, if you want to check them out. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. And I will be seeing you guys on the next video. Bye.